What's up, YouTube? So, I'm back with an <clears throat> I'm back with another video, and today's video is gonna register with a lot of you who clicked on this video. Okay, this video right here is gonna free you, men and women, because men and women operate in this same manipulation and this same control and this same power that Jezebel has. Okay, don't think just because it's 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 a it's a woman's name. Jezebel is a woman's name. That this is only for men. I mean, yeah, that this is only for men pertaining to women. But that is not the case. This is for women pertaining to men as well. We all can operate in this. We all can fall into these shortcomings. But we all can is it, 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 just as how we can fall into it. We can be we can be turned around and pushed right back out of it due to the power of Jesus Christ. Okay, but I want to start this video like this. All right, because I wrote down some notes on on research that I did on Jezebel, and I need you guys to hear this. Okay, so Jezebel in the Bible, she was the daughter of a king, which made her a princess, a influential person. OK, so the fact that she was a princess, she was very influential already as it was. She married Ahab. OK, I was an Ahab before you watching this video. You are Ahab to a Jezebel. She married Ahab because he was a king. She seen greatness in him and wanted to achieve power by manipulating him. Jezebel was a worshiper of a Canaanite god of rain and fertility, a idol worshiper, okay? You shall only worship the Lord thy God only and no other God shall you serve. Remember that. So anytime you seeing these women and these men and you asking them, who are they praying to? And you don't even hear them saying in Jesus name at the end of their prayers. And their prayers go a little something like this. That they're not really talking. They're just in their head. It's idolizing going on right there. That is a clear indication. Alright, look look at this. When she became when she became Ahab's queen, she had a wicked influence over Ahab. Jezebel influenced him to cut off prophets of the Lord. First Kings 18 and 4. We're gonna go to that Bible verse right now. Alright. She influenced Ahab to cut off prophets of the Lord. All right, for it was so, this is 1 King 18 and four, for it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord that Obadiah took an hundred prophets and hid them by 50 in a cave and fed them with bread and water. For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord. These are the people that were under Ahab, but she had the influence to manipulate Ahab into cutting off true prophets of God. This, the, the, the Jezebel, this Jezebel spirit influenced me to cut off my family and to cut off my mom and to be separated and influenced me and manipulated and controlled me to get me and steer me off of my purpose that God had for me. But the power of God will hit you and he will turn you back on the right path. So let me go back into my notes. The spirit of Jezebel has a voice of influence and control at the core of Jezebel. Her main objective is control, manipulation, and her own personal gain. She will stop at nothing to get it. Okay? Now, with that being said, Jezebel is not just something that, that is used for, like, sex. And, 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 like, she doesn't just use sex. She uses her voice as well. She also manipulates you by twisting your words and your thoughts to her beliefs or what she wants you to believe for her own personal gain. Jezebel even sees the greatness inside of you and wants to control that and latch on to that. That is why she was a princess. She became the queen of Ahab so that she can have more influence. She's seen opportunity in Ahab and she snatched him up. That is what that was. Now I want to ask you, I want to ask you something before I ask you this though, you need to realize that that is not God's purpose to control you at all. 
This is of the devil. The devil wants to control you because does God, does God honestly control you? When you answer that question, the answer you get is no. He gives us free will. Even though he is the Lord Almighty, the one true living God, he lets you decide if you want to love him. He even sent his only begotten son out of love to die on the cross for our sins and gave you the choice to want to repent and turn away from your wickedness and serve him. <laughs> but the devil controls you and manipulates you to condemnation. Hold on. I got Mark 16, 16. That is the next verse we're about to go to and discuss right now. Mark 16, 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So with that being said, you have the opportunity. You have the choice. God did not tell you that you must serve him. If that was the case, everybody would be a Christian. Just think about it. He gives you your free will. He gives you your free will. And some of you may even question that, but that is really love. Honestly, he even allows you to go through trials and tribulations before you are called to really go to him because there are other people that, that are going through the same trials and tribulations that you went through, that I went through, that I am called to, that you are called to. And that is why he allows so much things happen. The Bible says that his thoughts are not our thoughts. So you cannot try to fathom why we have this free will. You cannot try to fathom why he doesn't control you. You just know that he's a God that loves and he's a perfect God. And he's a perfect God with a vision. A vision to get you out of this snare of Jezebel. Okay. Like I said, the devil controls you and manipulates you to condemnation. Jezebel will use sex, money, influence, and all things above. If you are if you are on a path of being in control over everything, you are on the path with the devil. And you need to repent and turn to Jesus. This Jezebel spirit, she lures you from your faith. She lures you from your faith. That is her objective. That is one of her other objectives. Now, I want to go into my story with the Jezebel spirit and my experiences. Okay. One of the things that I want to talk about <laughs> is how when I was going through these things, right, I was always conflicted in my mind. I always knew that it was something that, that, that I was doing wrong, but I would always consult with my Jezebel and she would always convince me that God, <laughs> that I was okay with God as long as I was a good person, right? But that was never the case. She always convinced me that my sin was okay and that it was okay to fulfill my desires because she wanted to fulfill her desires with me as well. She wanted me to have sex with her. She convinced me that my mother, my own mother, <laughs> that my own mother had some type of crush on me or some type of weird something. She would often say that your mom must like you because of how much she, she um, tries to get you to stay home. Now, I'm going to say this. My mom was a, a tad bit strict, but she was not strict at all, really. She would let me stay out at night, all night and, and stuff like that. Honestly, she would let me stay out till about three or, or things like that. But and then she would tell me to like come home after that. But the Jezebel spirit would tell me like you should be you should be able to do whatever you want. You know, you should be able to do whatever you want. You are a grown man, a grown man that didn't even have a job for real. Wasn't even getting no type of money. Wasn't even um wasn't even settled in my heart. But I'm a grown man to this Jezebel. Right. <laughs> The manipulation was so thick in my life. I remember even one time. This is why I said she lures you from your faith. I made a video on TikTok about masturbation. There was a, a particular boy who was commenting on the videos. He was saying that people need to turn away from their wickedness. You need to stop sinning. There is no other sin that messes up your body more than sexual immorality that was one of the things that he said he had scripture behind what he was saying as well i just can't remember off the top of my head the scriptures okay we were going through these comments <laughs> and she began to tell me she literally began to tell me that um he was judging this is one trick this is another trick of the enemy he literally uses the bible 
to make people feel like they are being judged if you are not living the right way. If you are, they, he wants you to believe that your sin is justified and correct, but it is not. It is wrong for you to live wicked. It is long for you. The Bible says that, that God is impervious to evil. Fornication is of the devil. Control, manipulation, the devil. Not listening, not honoring your mother and your father, the devil. Now, there's certain situations where, you know, you need to get from up under certain people, I, I must admit. But this registers with some of you. Your Jezebel in your life is literally trying to get you to stop um, being close to, to, to family members. She's controlling you. She's putting witchcraft on you. Okay. I even found out to, I even found out that I had like, since I've been on a different path, God has led me to literally getting rid of certain things, certain objects that I had when I was um, in relationship with this girl. Because they were devices that she was using, putting witchcraft on me, manipulation devices, tracking devices. I had to literally get rid of these things to confuse the spirits inside of her, confuse the things operating inside of her because they are all coming against me. Now, back to these comments. We were reading the comments and she began to say that he was judging and that he was dumb. And that and, and all this. And I literally looked at her with so much sadness. And I told her that you don't have a heart for God. I remember telling her she don't have a heart for God. And she went off on me and started telling me that I was judging her. But I was not judging her. I was righteously judging her based off of the things that I was seeing. And you can righteously judge a person based off of what I was seeing, the, the evil, the hatred towards God's people spewing out of this Jezebelic spirit as she was going, mimicking this man, mimicking the things that he was saying under my post. But he's honestly trying to help these people. <coughs> it just didn't make any sense to me. We even went on his page and she began to mock the things that he was saying. To and I was just so sad and so heartbroken that day because I just seen how she didn't have a heart for God and how God was just not in this relationship that I was in and that I was in the wrong thing, searching for the wrong thing, doing the wrong things, allowing myself to be manipulated. And one of the main signs that you are operating with a Jezebelic spirit is that she wants to isolate you she wants to get you away from everybody and she wants to manipulate you. The one thing that she did to me, she began to plant ideas in my mind about my mom. I started even hating my mom. I started really wanting to reject my mom. See, my mom seen this Jezebel. The first time she seen her, she seen the Jezebelic ways inside of her. I just didn't want to believe it because I was under her spell. I was under the spell of sex and love. But it was all a facade. See, I want to tell you, she told my mom that she was taken advantage of by two men that I went to high school with. And it was all a lie. It was all a lie and a facade. She even said she even tried to destroy my character. She hated my mom. But as I broke up with her, as she lo lost her power. She ended up trying to call my mom like every single day, every week, trying to reach out to my mom, trying to assassinate my character, telling her <laughs> that she was pregnant, which was a lie. Telling her that I even raped her, <laughs> which was an even bigger lie, because I am not that type of person. I would never, ever, ever do anything like that to a woman. OK, never. And she tried to assassinate my character. But see, God revealed to me in that very hour as she kept calling my mom and she kept trying to reach out to me. She was even reaching out to me, making fake numbers, calling me. I had to change my number and everything. God revealed to me in that hour who she really was. And it was a Jezebelic, controlling, manipulating spirit. That's what she was. That whole relationship, that whole time. And she could say whatever she want about how I tried to start the relationship, about how I started the relationship, anything she want. 
it doesn't matter. Because what happened in between everything <clears throat> shows different. Even in the relationship, <clears throat> when I hit hit up, I hit up different women in the relationship and all. It doesn't matter. She still had a very lot of control in them manipulating ways. And she wanted me to stay with her forever. She seen the greatness inside of me. <laughs> and she wanted to latch on to that and, and enjoy the ride. But what was happening was that I was actually being hindered. Yes, I am great. And I don't say that out of cockiness. I say that out of confidence in the Lord. Yes, I am great. But she's not the one that's going to be enjoying that ride. The Lord has a different woman for me. Okay? And she's not the one. So, her latching on to my greatness and her latching on to my purpose was really just hindering me. I was never, ever going to reach the places that God is sending me towards now. Ever. If I would have stayed in that relationship. And that is the same for you. See, God wants you. He wants to bring you out of this toxic and Jezebelic relationship. He wants you to walk in your purpose. He wants you to turn away from your wickedness. He wants you to fall out of this spell. And he wants you the veils off of your eyes to be lifted. Father God, right now, I just pray. I pray that this video literally touches their heart. Holy Spirit, touch. Touch the heart. Holy Spirit, touch their heart as they listen to this right now, Father. Touch it. And I pray. I pray that the veils on their eyes be lifted up and that they can see, even see the Jezebelic spirit inside of this person when they look into their eyes the next time they are with this partner. That they can see it, they can smell it, smell the disgust on this person, the evil on this person, the witchcraft on this person, the chants, the weird prayers, the signs, everything that is on this woman. Everything that is on this man, this controlling man, this controlling woman, that they can see it and that it, they are repulsed by it and that they, they know that they need to get out of this relationship no matter how hard it is. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, touch. Touch the heart. Touch the eye. Open their spiritual eyes. Open their spiritual ears so that they may hear, so that they may see the truth. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, I want to keep it real with y'all. It's not easy doing this. This ain't easy. But this is this is real. This is the truth. God literally, before I made this video, was still healing me on my old relationship. I was still holding on right before I made this relationship. I was literally deep in prayer this morning. And I had to release this girl. I had to release the rest of her from me. Because I still had an attachment. I still felt as though I loved her or something or some type of connection or that I, I just wanted to see her do great or something. I don't know. But now I've released her and now I feel free. I feel like a, a burden has actually been lifted up on me and I was encouraged to make this video. Make this video so that your, your, the veils on your eyes may be lifted. And... <laughs> I want to give you guys this scripture on Jezebel right now in closing. I want to give y'all that spirit's fate. In 2 Kings 9 and 10, And the dogs shall eat Jezebel in the portion of Jezreel, and there shall be none to bury her. And he opened the door and fled. And the dogs shall eat Jezebel in the portion of Jezreel, and there shall be none to bury her. She shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over everybody watching this video that this video is touching. And right now I send the fire of God to destroy that Jezebelic person in their life. Right now in the name of Jesus, we destroy, we uplift, we dismantle that spirit of Jezebel right now operating in their partner, that sexual partner. We destroy you. The sex isn't that good anyway. We're going to make the sex be disgusting right now. That is what I mean. We're going to make the sex be disgusting. We're going to make the taste of that person be disgusting. And right now, you are going to be repulsed in the name of Jesus because that person is not for you. That person is not of God right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God has somebody for you and planned for you. 
But it's going to come at an appointed time. Right now, he just wants you to turn away from this Jezebelic person. And it's going to come. Thank you, Jesus. Appreciate you. Y'all be blessed.